This is an authentic raced Formula One wheel. And today, I am building a game PC inside of it. Now this is not just any wheel. This is a wheel raced by the one and only Sergio Perez, who we are going to be giving this PC to. And it's certainly not a problem that uh, his wheel has seen better days, but I didn't do that, he did that, so not my problem. I'm gonna give back to him with some key improvements, like a PC that could play Forza Horizon 5. We're not just building a game PC, we're also packing it up, flying it all the way down to Guadalajara, Mexico to give it to Checo in person. So when our friends at Game Pass for PC, which has PC games, reached out and wanted to sponsor a video on the brand new Forza Horizon 5, I knew exactly what to do. Build the thing I've been wanting to do for many years, but didn't have a good reason for it. So I remember as a kid, my dad was always watching Formula One, right? Like when Michael Schumacher won like 100 championships in a row, like to me, I always have like really fond memories, but it's really only been the last few years as Formula One has really sort of gained popularity around the world, specifically in the US, that I've gotten way back into it. I went to a race a couple of years ago. The other day, a bunch of the guys, including Ken, came out and we all watched some races together. And Checo is absolutely one of the top drivers, not only in the world, but in Formula One, right? He's driving for the Red Bull team, which are arguably the fastest team this year. I'm just so happy that this is like an opportunity that we get. Like this is 100% gonna be something that I'm gonna tell my son 15, 20 years from now, like, let me show you the time that dad got to build a, a PC for Sergio Perez. And like, who's that dad? I don't watch Formula One. And they're gonna disown him. But outside of that, it's gonna be an incredibly good story wow. for other people. Look, he's better know, he, he's like freaking three months old and I make him watch every Formula One race with me. So he better know who Sergio Perez is when he grows up. Hey, Jared. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just curious. Did you have a chance to figure out our Forza video yet? Well, I've spent uh, the past day or so since we've got it working on it. Um, it's been kind of a pain. Uh, as you know, most computers Sorry, aren't I can't, circular. I can't, I, I gotta get off. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I thought it'd be funny if I like come in here like this is a giant skateboard. You're gonna like flip it apart and hurt yourself. We'll get more views. That's true. Does Good that point. mean I can, I no, can help? No, no. <laughs> so we've got the wheel here. Yeah. So it's actually in fairly good shape. Like it's a little bit bent, but honestly it's bent just enough where it sits still. Yeah, it actually helps us out a ton. It means we always have a position that we know is up. So, you know, big shout out to Checo for really helping us out there. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run that one back. We've got a decent amount of space in here. So this is really the volume that we have to build the system in. Yeah, it's, it's a little deceptive because you look like uh, you got all this room around here, but yeah. when you're actually building in it, these guys. even just these pins, this is pretty much the limit of where your PC can go. So it brings it down to about six and a half inches of space. In my attempts to max out the company credit card, we did buy that 3D printer. Um, Jared, part of the team immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be a big use. So we oh, got whoa. a very large printer and we started designing uh, this plate that's gonna go in there. Um, it's gonna max out the printer's width just yeah. about perfectly. It's gonna be pretty vertical. So the motherboard's actually gonna be standing up in there in order to keep everything to fit. With my preliminary estimates, we'll have a couple of inches between the graphics card and the motherboard, which is more than you oh. get in a lot of vertical mount cases yeah. that are already out there. So in reality, I think it'll be cooler than most ITX builds. So no one tell Jared that I said this, but he's actually a really talented dude. Like Jared has a lot of talent, not only in sort of designing and 3D printing stuff, but I actually have a lot of confidence that Jared will figure this out. I feel very confident building PCs. What I do not feel confident with is designing and 3D printing custom parts. There's a lot of engineering that's gonna go into this project. So I feel like Jared's got this. Look, I know that this is a video for Game Pass for PC, yep. but here, can you can you hold this? I got you, I got you. Where, 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 oh my God, are you trying to put an Xbox Series X inside this? It's not gonna fit. What are you talking about? That, that is not the build. That, how? This is an insult to the three days of work that I've put into this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this just to be a PC that you know we make for a video, check it goes, aha, that's cool, and then it ends up in his trophy cabinet or something. Like I want this to actually be something that he can use, right? Because this is a full-fledged game PC. There are a lot of moving pieces in this. One, it's the PC components, it's our ability to make stuff, it's the ability to get everything in, everything shipping there, um, the I can't say that. Wow. Um, 
It also depends on Checo liking it, so also our emotions. There's too much. This thing is cool. Yeah, so this is gonna be uh, featured in a lot of future projects. Uh, you may notice that not only is it a 3D printer, it's a 3D printer in a box, because this does a little bit more than that. This here is some laser safety plastic because this thing not only 3D prints, it is also laser engraver slash cutter and a CNC machine. So a lot of things, Jared. That's a lot of things. It's three in one. It can do it all, unlike me. Uh, this Whoa. thing is very... Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's the kind of spirit I'm looking for. <laughs> this isn't going to be easy, but I have a couple of ideas and luckily I did take some engineering classes in high school. So I might be able to work my way around it, but I'm going to have to shake my rust off to get there. For components, we're almost ready with everything. So we did opt for a Ryzen 5 5600X. So actually, as of building this right now, we do not have a code. So we're actually building this before the game is out. So we're just hoping that it runs well, but we do have one of the smallest RTX 3060 cards we could find, which is from EVGA, which this, I mean, we've tested this, that it fits. I know it fits because, look, see? Fits. It doesn't work. So we finally got our last print off of the printer, and this took about 40 hours total for everything to come out together. But now we can actually start test fitting things. So I noticed there are a couple. Um, we're not going to worry about these. Um, uh -huh. These are the experimentations on how we were going to get this to work. And each one of these took 30 hours to print. Yes. So we ended up going through two of those. So board is mounted something like this? Actually, no. So oh, okay. what we're gonna do, it would not fit if we did it like that. Oh. It absolutely would not fit. Oh, wow. And then oh, slide back. And then that's how you're gonna mount your motherboard. Who needs to buy a case when you have a Jared? So the power supply is one of the few things that we actually can screw directly in. Um, we cut out this slot perfectly for a power supply to fit in. And oh, it'll that. slot all the way to the end. That's very nice. So we're gonna mount it like this. Slide it back. Slide, slide it back. Yeah, once it's in. There you go. Okay. And then we just attach that PCI Express bracket. This is, uh, this actually looks like it might just reach. So now this is engineering, fellas. If you thought it was all- Wait, 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 wait. that's bending. It's bending way too much. Hang on. No, 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 it's, a, it's, it's absolutely bending too much. So you really want to put your hand in the way of the drill? Okay, fine, bend it, I don't care. Okay. It's just three more hours to print. It's just... <laughs> that actually would be really bad. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having fun. I this is a blast. I'm just hungry, actually. You wanna go grab some lunch? Are you saying that coffee yeah. doesn't fill you up? I'm just jittery and full of caffeine. Let's go grab, grab lunch, we'll be back. Uh, good luck wait, with wait, this. So you're not, you're, are you grabbing me something, right? Depends like I get, I get fed? <laughs> the new guy, am I right? <laughs> uh, oh man. Please, I haven't left the studio in two weeks, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's Josh's fault, okay? <laughs> Josh is the one who's out here. So at this stage, the design and assembly process is done. We fully tested that the parts work inside of the PC, that the game is fully running, and that the 3D printed components not only fit inside the wheel properly, but we also have some spare parts in case they break for whatever reason in transit. Now, it is time to undo everything and put them in a fleet of Pelican cases and boxes because they're going on a plane and heading to Mexico for us to reassemble and present to Mr. Checo Perez himself. So it's the night before we leave. Yes. And we uh, are sleep deprived, but the job is done. And is it done? It, well, it's not done until it gets there, but that's not my worry anymore. <laughs> so we've got the wheel, which has now been stripped down. The only thing that's really in here are the RGB strips, which are gonna fly with the wheel, which we're gonna put in a box and check it and hope that it uh, checkos its way all the way to Mexico. Okay, I'm sorry. I think you're real clever, don't you? I do. I think you're real funny. <laughs> <laughs> I hate shipping PCs. It is such a nerve wracking experience. There's so many things that can go wrong. A motherboard gets damaged, a graphic card snaps, something just gets bent. We're packing a PC and then hand carrying it slash checking part of it onto a plane going to a different country. We have to negotiate our way through customs and explain that this is a PC and not something a little more sus. We arrive and what, 18 hours after we land, we're giving Checo the PC and going home. Like there's no room for error here. Good luck trying to find another RTX 3060 in Guadalajara. Like, 
So we're in Guadalajara, Mexico to shoot with Checo Perez, but that's not the main thing that he's here for. This is mainly a shoot for Forza Horizon 5 with the Xbox team. We are basically just tagging along because Xbox has him for a little bit of time and they were gracious enough to let us latch onto that for a little bit and present him this PC along with Forza Horizon 5. We need to head back over to where our trailer is, get the PC set up, make sure it all works, so as soon as he rolls up, we will be good to go. No pressure. Also, I feel like we're actually in the game right now, like legitimately. <laughs> it's really beautiful here. It is so nice. It is so nice. So we have about an hour or two to actually get the PC set up, connected, make sure that the display is working, make sure that the controller's working, make sure that the game is just fully functional. I want this thing to work. I want Checo to be happy. Like, we spent so much time on this, like we've got such a cool opportunity. I want him to look at this thing and be like, yo! I don't know if that's the way, he probably wouldn't say it like that. I, I want him to be excited, okay? I want him to be excited. I'm so ready right now. I'm so ready. Like I'm, so, I'm so ready. You can still smell all the, the tires. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Austin, nice to meet uh, you. Nice to meet you. I am very excited. Do you have any idea what we're doing right now? Uh, no idea. No idea? <laughs> okay. Not really. So we want to build you a special PC for Forza Horizon 5. Really? Yeah. So uh, you might. this might look a little familiar. Are you ready? All good? Yeah. All right. So this is the PC we built you. Wow. <laughs> So this is actually yeah, yeah, in one of your wheels. It has a number 11 and the flag. Exactly. So definitely mine. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know, because I was thinking about like trying to find a wheel. I started looking around and I found one that was legitimately yours. I was like, I mean, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Like I don't have another shot at this, right? So I'm trying my best to stay cool and show him the PC and hope he likes it. But on the inside, I'm definitely like, <laughs> would accurately sum up the way I'm feeling. So basically, the entire PC fits in here. So we have this little uh -huh. like, piece of acrylic that we can kind of take off and uh -huh. get a closer look. Um, but basically, it all barely crams in here, all the RGBs and everything like that. And you just uh, bend it from here? Uh, it may have come like that. Uh, <laughs> so it was from a crash or something like that? Maybe. How did you get the wheel? So we, we found it on eBay. No way. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best gifts I would never give. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, dude. Thank I'm you, so Rach. Man, what else can you ask for, right? Like, <sighs> you want to try to game on it? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way, man. <laughs> so I'm in Mexico. You're in Mexico? Yeah. Wow. Ah, you're playing the, the drug racing. Drug racing, yeah, the yeah. Drug racing. I used to, to go with Arabic when I was young. Oh, really? Uh, it's so popular in Mexico, you know, the oh, drag so racing. It's been so long since I'm on a motorway in Mexico. Oh, really? But this this really br brings me back to it. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Oh. There you go, yeah, see, oh. never happened, never happened. <laughs> it, that wasn't me, who was driving? <laughs> this is literally how I used to drive in the motorway. Is it really? <laughs> That's, That's how you got why, your job? Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't go anymore in the motorways. <laughs> so cool, man. You like it? Love it, man. Dude. I have to take my wheel with me. It's all yours, man. It's all I yours. I will travel with my wheel everywhere yeah. I go. <laughs> Just give me a call when it breaks. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll help you help you out with it. <laughs> Do I need to disconnect it? You're yeah. like, we'll yeah. it into a you will get it already. Okay. You're like, he's like ready to go in it right now. <laughs> I make sure that it comes with me. <laughs> Thank you, man. Awesome. Thanks dude. So much. much appreciated. Yeah. Dude. Are you just coming here? Man, some days at work are better than others. <laughs> I'm so happy that worked. Like, come on, you know you're happy right now. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to basically just grab the PC <laughs> off the tape. Holy oh, man, it's all yours. <sighs> Overall, this whole experience has been really, really cool. I mean, apart from just getting to meet the Formula One driver, Checo Perez, it's just a really cool project to embark on. You know, Formula One wheels aren't supposed to have PZs in them. Getting to make a PC for something that we're dearly passionate about, I'd say is not a normal day in the office. And is one of those things where, you know, you kind of take a step back and think, wow, this is a really cool fucking job. This has been like three weeks of just stress and just hoping that everything would work out. The fact that we've got here, the PC works, that we not only got to meet Checo, but he likes the PC. <laughs> Man, this is a good day. Thank you very much to our very good friends at Microsoft, who of course have Game Pass, which has PC games, including Forza Horizon 5, for making this all happen because like,
Now, of course, you're familiar with our fine sponsor Game Pass for PCs, wide selection of games with over 100 titles available, many available on day one. And on top of that, you can sign up for Game Pass for PC for only $1 for your first month. So, well, what are you waiting for? I mean, actually, what am I talking about? You've already signed up. Now, of course, this is a continuation of our Game Pass for PC build series. Not only have we already built four PCs for Back for Blood, but who knows, we might just have that Halo Infinite system coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed. I've been a huge fan of Forza for a long time, and the Horizon games specifically, but Horizon 5 takes it up to the next level. Not only do you get to explore the wide variety of biomes inside of Mexico, but you get to do that in an open world with an absolute ton of cars, with customization. I mean, it really is the most complete Forza Horizon yet. You can play Forza Horizon 5 Day 1 with Game Pass for PC. Link in the description.